Hi guys, this is Erica at Create Your Future. I'm one of the coaches here on the team. And I just want to remind you of our, about our contest that we're running. We're giving away three coaching sessions once we reach 100,000 subscribers. All you have to do to participate is make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, share and like our videos and comment on one of them, sharing something that you have manifested consciously using the love assumption. And today I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, for me, I think I'm really big on analogies. I like to make a mental image in my mind of something that feels really easy for me uh, to understand how to manifest. So something that for me, it clicks. And um, so uh, the other day I was talking to my daughter about, you know, I'm always teaching her about how low assumption and how to manifest this or that. And um, she was having a little bit of a, of a breakdown. And so this just came out of nowhere. And uh, we have a little dog, Prince, which he's right here. Let's say hi. He's always here with mama. But um, we have Prince. And when I give Prince a treat, what happens? That treat is his treat. If you try to take the treat away from him, like even though he loves me and adores me, right? Like he's like, uh, no, this is mine, right? This is my treat. So I just gave her that analogy. Like when you want to manifest something, whatever it is, just own it and say, this is mine. No matter what is happening right now in your 3D reality, no matter, uh, no matter what you're experiencing, just be like Prince, right? Hold on to that desire and say, this is mine. No one is going to take it away from me and persist. Persist, persist, persist with your affirmations. Assume it is yours. Uh, let go of the fear. Let go of the old story. Let go of the past, uh, the past base from lack and just persist in what you want. And like Prince with that treat, like this is mine. For example, uh, when you want a relationship with someone, right? Say that relationship is mine. That person is mine. I don't care how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. This is mine. And just keep affirming based on, you know, you having that relationship, right? I'm so loved. I am adored. I love being in this relationship. This person is uh, so committed to me. He's so faithful. He's so uh, present, like I feel so safe in this relationship. Keep affirming from having that that loving, committed relationship that you want, right? When it's when it's about love relationships, own it. Like this is mine. I don't care what's happening right now. I will persist, and me having it here where everything is created. Um, when it's about money, right? this money is mine let's say that you need a specific amount right say or sometimes it's for paying certain things right instead of you worrying about not having enough money or worrying that you're not going to be able to pay for certain things be that person that has abundance of money and own it right like prince with his street this money is mine i don't care how it's going to come to me but I am abundant. I am someone that always has more than enough money. My bank account is exploding with money. I live in um, in abundance, in opulence. Every time I spend money, money comes to me. I'm so excited to spend money because I know it always comes multiplied. Every time I spend a dollar, a thousand come back. Mm. What I've been also affirming instead of with money, instead of saying I am spending money, I start affirming, I, I am investing money, right? For example, if I buy makeup, it's an investment in myself because I want to look a certain way. If I'm buying food, it's an, an investment for for my health, right? If, I, if I'm paying, for example, if I pay the rent, right? It's an investment for like, um, for me to have a roof over my head etc. Instead of I'm spending money, right? There's an assumption that it's just gone. No, it's an investment for myself. And, um, and yeah, every time I spend dollar, it, 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 uh, every time I spend uh, $1, it comes back multiplied. Just have that assumption, have that mindset of abundance instead of lack. Um, 
what else talking about that also like for example for losing weight i've been affirming instead of i am losing weight which is like i don't want to find it right <laughs> i lost it i don't want to find it so instead of affirming i am losing weight i say i am releasing the weight i am letting go of that extra weight i am like i'm releasing the fat cells off of my body i don't need them anymore and then i also affirm um that my my cells and my body obey my affirmations because i am the upper power i'm the one in control so uh yeah for for body affirmations my um i am so healthy every day i'm healthier i, I am full of energy my body's perfection i'm so sexy i am i look younger every day um I am gorgeous, but I, I also for my cells listen to the, are listening and obey these affirmations. Um, what else? In any situation, you guys, like whatever it is that you would like to change, just affirm from having whatever it is that you want and keep affirming and persist until you have it in your 3D reality. And you have to be persistent and talking about that persistence, it come, here comes my analogy of being like, like my dog. Like, this is my reality. No one's going to take it away from me. I don't care what is happening right now in that 3D reality. I know it's just an old story that was manifested from here, but I'm not giving life to that anymore. And I will persist and this is mine and I won't stop until I have it. Okay. Um, so yeah, just just practice it and have fun and have fun with it because I noticed that sometimes when we are just affirming to have a result, we're still kind of like thinking from lack. Uh, what I like to do is I like to affirm from a place of power. I like to remind myself that I'm extremely powerful, that I'm the only one with 100% free will in my reality, that everyone has to conform to who I say I am, that they have no choice. And from that place of power, I just affirm. And I know that it will happen no matter what. I just persist. I persist through still not having it, from having things in my reality that I don't like, but I just persist because I know that it's gonna change, that things are always changing. But what I have to persist on is in having the reality that I want here, where everything is created. And I don't stop until I have it. And even once I have it, I keep affirming, saying, oh, like, this is amazing. I have more of it. And uh, then we are always going to want something, something else. We are always going to want something. So once you have it, this is a lifestyle, right? So you're going to keep affirming, like, oh, well, now I want this. Now this is what I have. This is who I am. And it's just just make sure that you're not going backwards and thinking from, from lack, from... Um, not being loved from not having money just always persist in a reality where you have it all where you have the money the beauty the the health the, the everything good because uh we came here to this earth to to have fun to be happy to experience a lot of beautiful things we didn't come here to suffer and uh not be happy and no that at least that's my belief so know that you can have it all and all you have to do is do the work here and um that's it have faith in yourself as a creator of your reality okay so if you need help with your specific situation all the links are provided down below and i will be more than happy to help you okay thank you guys for watching Bye bye